you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Wimkel. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means push. three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Da. You have completed your training, Dragonborn. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. <laughs> Tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. 
Hi Hrothgar is open to you. Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Welcome. It's really great we're friends. I, don't I was hoping to find some way to thank you. I hope this does the trick. You should think about staying the night. There's no better way to face the cold Skyrim nights than with a belly full of ale. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. So that's your plan, huh? Even if you could survive, by the time you got inside, whatever documents they had would be long gone. We're there for information, remember? Trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. My way is better. The Thalmor ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Wine, then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful. Companion friend? Well, then you're in luck. I reckon I've killed more men than there are minutes in a day. Lot few, huh? At this rate, I guess I better change it to seconds then. <laughs> but who's counting? Farewell. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Hey, my. Let's sate that appetite, hmm?
Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Like those eyes you got. 
There's a bad hunger to them. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. You'd best hurry it up. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. Something smells like the undead. All right, then. It's really great we're friends. I was hoping to find some way to thank you. I hope this does the trick. You could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Until next time. Well, that's different. If you're heading up to solitude, it don't look so you good. Stop to check out the view on your way. It's a good one.
I'm proud of what we've managed to accomplish. What was that? Over here! I'll be back, <laughs> and you'll be dead! Magic is Pick up some steel and talk to fight those at who dare disturb my That was your decision. Someone. Sorry, but you left me with no choice. Uncle Rog here? Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to You betrayed us. Go home and stay there until your mother. Storm cloak lover! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Mm. Traitor! Best she know now, I thought. Some gate guard oh. you are! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Toring. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! On this day, I go to Sovngarde. I expected more. He died well. Oh, I guess it's all over. I expected. Oh, I don't know what I expected. He's in the inn. Look around. I'm sure you'll find him. Come on in. Just stoked the fire. Take a seat hmm? and get the cold out. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. 
The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the Embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, I'll get this inside the Embassy for you. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Sovereign Guard? No. All I ask mm -hmm. is to see my family. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the Embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Have you visited Here, put this on. No matter when you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. <laughs> I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. 
Please, you first. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? I just need to rest a moment. I will just rest here a moment. Although it is damn cold. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. I don't look to the Your trip invitation, back down. please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador I to Skyrim, and you are. Venison with bitter green sauce that we had at the last party. That was delicious. Ah, uh, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. list. Please Madam tell me more Madam about yourself. So what brings you to this? <laughs> to Skyrim. Apparently, what is it, Malborn? It's just that we've well run out month. of the Alto wine. No sign of Do up I have your permission soon. to uncork the Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull of when course. she struck an iceberg. I've told you before not to bother me with such returns. trifles. Of course, yes, she Madam would Ambassador. never admit such a thing. My apologies. Captain Safia we'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Have you heard any news from the other parts of Skyrim? Have you visited Rorik's dead There you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Is it good fortune? The blessings of the divines? Who knows? been a brutal winter. I can't remember the last time it was this cold and for this long. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's been some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. What have you heard? Well, I did hear that all <sighs> storm storms... Just between us, slain. I've got more important things to do than the attend dragon, these meaningless parties. Sounds too good to be true. I'll wager it was all for himself. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm, and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. Goodbye. Victoria, there's someone I'd like you to meet. It's very nice to meet you. You'll have to excuse Orthus here. He so rarely gets back to civilization. Stuck in Windhelm, poor fellow. Don't worry, Orthus. I'm doing my best to get you reassigned to Solitude. Oh, don't worry about me. I relish the challenge. I find these parties such a dreadful bore. A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmer. On the other hand, the Thalmer have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet, but I'm sure my cousin would want to cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. Oh? Something interesting, I hope. Come and visit me in solitude sometime. Why would anyone join the Stormcloaks? They have a fraction of the Empire's wealth and power. Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. 
Those who fought the Thaumar in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thaumar reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine. And also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Until later, then. Please, help yourself to more wine. The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> Very well then. There's a likely looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there, serving girl! What's your name, dear? Ah, oh, Freyla, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Don't go far. Yes, sir. I could learn a lot from the people in this room. Very much so, yes. Ellenwind's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. I beg your pardon? You must have me mistaken for someone else. I am Elisif. Widow of High King Torig and Jarl of Solitude. Lucky for you, I possess a forgiving nature, and I'm not easily insulted. It was a pleasure. Thank you. What can I get for you? I'm sorry, but I think you've had enough for the moment. Until next time. <coughs> There are words spoken, and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. There are words spoken, and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. May wisdom light your path. Trust me, there's no place better to forge relationships with the movers and shakers of Skyrim. Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. I am the steward of Whiterun. I serve Jarl Balgruff in Dragon's Reach. Truth be told, I'd be more comfortable if I were back there. I get nervous in the company of so many worthies. Don't let me keep you. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before, and I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. We have a relationship of mutual respect. 
I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. Until next time. <clears throat> what does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our yes, mistress. I speak figuratively, of course. Uh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Let's go, let's go, before anyone notices us. Fine, fine, get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend our Thalmor overlords, would we? Someone so far, so good. Let's Where? hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Come on. It's Did you luck. see those robes You're on your own this now. morning? Who are they with? More of the Emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. No! Oh. 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 Oh.
That money. I earned it. I have my own expenses. You Silence. Know. Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less. No! But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks in the end. Now, I have work to do. Lead me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it? Shall we lose his bonds and put you in his... Please, I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Unless spoken to. Master Rollerville. You can't win this! I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? What? What do you want then? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, 
No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. left me with no choice. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> 